Bumble, and I'm pointing towards my good friend here, Mr. Bumble. Doesn't he look fine? Yes, he Well done, Mr. Bumble. Thank you. So, good people. Brevity being the name of the game, my wife will kill me if I carry on or I've got to stop talking and just say, have a yes. visitors, friends. Uncle Scrooge would invite you well, most cordially to welcome the new mayor of Rochester in the customary Dickensian fashion. Just as I did yesterday, I forgot to mention two things which are probably very, very important when you think about it. We have it out this today. The great, great grandson of Charles Dickens himself, Gerald Dickens. He will be reading some Dickens later on at Easter, Eastgate House. Please drop in and see him, you'll be delighted to see him. And he can be a out there that would like to participate in this year's. Mr. and separately Mrs. Rochester competition. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I won't see you all in a second. We're going to carry on very shortly with our Punch and Judy show. And as I said, don't forget the photograph of her over on the very go round. Hope you're having a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. The 30th Dickens Festival. Make your way back to the Punch and Judy booth area. Just clear that area a little. Down the stairs! What did I do? Oh, Judy! You won't shout for Judy, boys and girls, will you? Okay. Don't shout, Judy, boys and girls. She'll come and she'll batter me, boys and girls. Come back to collect the bee. Bee. Where's the baby got, boys and girls? knock the baby down the stairs, boys and girls. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, I The music playing quietly in the background. And ladies and gentlemen, a little round of applause for all of our contestants who are going to be uh, entering into this competition. Beautiful. have a word with our contestants. Ladies, as you wander around, if you can just try and keep your numbers displayed to the judges as best you can for most of the time, that would be much appreciated. Wonderful. Best dressed Victorian lady. Now the translation of the word lady might be slightly flexible as I look over my left shoulder. I, in fact, I don't want to look over my left shoulder. But here we are, we have some indeed very, very beautiful ladies. Hello. How are you, love? Oh, you look beautiful again this year. How many years have you been trying to win now? You've got more than you care to mention. Beautiful. Still people having lots of fun, that's fantastic. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we have two um, very specialist judges with us on this particular uh, this particular competition, or the next row of competitions. Hi girls, how are you? Having fun? What's your name? Lindsay, what's your name? Tina, alright. Nice to see you. What do you think of the pretty ladies? Nice, aren't they? Our judges, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to find out the names of our contestants very, very quickly. But our judges, on my left here, there's a lady called uh, Thelma Grove, and she's uh, been a leader for a long, long time at the Dickens Fellowship. And she's an authority um, on Dickens and has travelled all around the world, giving advice and helping um, everybody set up different exhibitions and things. And the lady on my right, with a wonderful straw bonnet, HMS Active, I believe it says. This lady is uh, Janet Bird, and uh, she uh, has a reputation, especially in this area, of being one of the finest tailoresses, seamstresses that there are. And I know both ladies uh, specialise in their in their skills. And our, and our seamstress, Janet Bird, um, has handmade uh, 
more than one or two dresses herself to a very high standard, so she's going to be looking for certain, certain qualities in these dresses. The work that came out yesterday with the children's competition, the judges were looking for fresh and crisp. Those are the things, fresh and crisp. And sometimes, what I saw yesterday for the first time, not necessarily, obviously, the most glamorous of costume won the competition, because they're looking at the details. From Barnet, wonderful. You look absolutely fantastic. Um, is this uh, your work? Yes, indeed. So, for our second contestant, give her a nice round of applause as well from North London, Barnet. Oh, can I get close enough? Hello, your name is? Funny. Funny, where are you from? You're from Chatham, one of the, the local area. And uh, is this your work as well? It is, indeed. Um, just, I, I could ask this of everybody, but just give us an idea. How long does it take to make a dress completion from beginning to end like this? Two or three weeks? Oh, I can't find it all, but that's where... Ah, two or three weeks full time, okay. Give her a nice round of applause our next contestant, Steve. Hello, and your name? Victoria. Victoria, where are you from? Rochester. A uh, local lady from Rochester. And uh, are you the, the class person here? No, I'm not. Oh, who was it? Two friends. Two friends, yeah. One's the same person, one's the same. Okay, super. I think they've done, done a very, very good job. Give a nice round of applause, our next contestant. There we are. Of course, the actual contestants themselves don't have to actually make uh, the garments themselves, but uh, have them made for them. They are handmade. That's the stipulation. Good afternoon. You were Susan. Susan, and whereabouts are you from? From Scrooge. And uh, I do know you've been in the, the competition before. Twenty-seven. Well, you're not quite old enough to have done the thirty, are you? <laughs> it's a beautiful dress. Is this your work? Yes, sir. It is your work. Give her a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. 27 years. Okay, and uh, yourself. If anybody's just come in there, I'm going to say you're 27 years old. Is that all right? Just 27 right. years. Marvelous. And this young lady, what's your name? Janice. Janice, and where are you from? Rochester. Another local lady from Rochester. Is this your first competition? No, no, no. Uh, for a few years? Fifth year, okay. And are, are you a seamstress? Is this your work? Oh, right. Now, see, now I'm a little ignorant. I'm saying a seamstress. What's the difference then between a seamstress and whatever? Are you just somebody that does it? You just sew. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just sew, that's the sort of thing you have to out eventually. Give her a nice round of applause anyway. Not a seamstress, but a beautiful dress. You just so okay, anyway. Moving swiftly on, your name? I'm Sheila. Sheila, and where are you from? I'm from Highwood, the Bucks. Ah, oh, Highwood. We're from a little further away, and uh, have you competed before? I have several times, yes. Yeah. Have you made many dresses? About six, seven. Six or seven, wonderful. And sort of on average, how long does it take to make a dress? It's long to three weeks, three weeks, three weeks. I do work full time. Work full time as well? Yes, okay, anyway, it looks wonderful. Give her a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful. Hello, uh, your name is? Melanie. Melanie, and where are you from? Tame in Oxfordshire. Tame in Oxfordshire, lovely, lovely, lovely. Have you travelled down specifically for the festival? I'm at uni in Canterbury. Oh, you're at uni? She's a uni girl. How's it going in Canterbury? What are you studying? History. History, ah. Ah, so she's working on the side here, perhaps. Now, do you, as well as studying and travelling all this way, um, the, the work that's gone into I helped them in design, but I didn't make it. Oh, right, okay. Who actually made it? Are they here today? <laughs> What's her name? Angela. Angela! Oh, she's gone shy. There she is. Hello, Angela. You've done a good job. Give Angela and, and our, our girlfriend from the uni a lost right hand for this marvellous. Good luck in the street. You'll be right with the Victorian area now, won't you? Marvellous. Moving swiftly on. Your name? Samantha. Samantha. And uh, where are you from? Upchurch. From Upchurch. Now I, I recognise your face. You've been here a couple of times now. Yes, 18. 18? 18, 18 years? No, I'm 25. Right, okay. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Now, are you the, the seamstress or the sewer? No, my mum. Again. Oh, your mum answered her again. Well, she's been busy. You obviously don't work for a living <laughs> to supporting these two. You've done a very, very good job.